If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back bringing another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys, in my opinion, the top 10 cards that you guys can buy for under 100,000 MT in NBA 2K20, my team. Before we hop into it and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on in and consider hitting that subscribe button. Right now, we are on this road and grinding 80,000 subscribers, so help us achieve that 80k goal today by hitting that sub button. And also, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. It has been a good three to four weeks since we have done one of these top 10 videos right here, guys. And that is mainly because of all the insane content that 2K has been dropping in my team over the course of the last three to four weeks. They have been going ham on the content that we have been getting. Even though the NBA season right now is currently suspended and postponed till later in the year, 2K, NBA 2K20, my team is still giving us content as if the NBA season is right now in session. In fact, they're giving us actually more content over the last three to four weeks, guys, than they have done over the entire course of the entire year. With that being said, I feel like this video right here, guys, was a perfect video to drop because of all the insane content that they have been dropping. A lot of cards, guys, who was going for over 100,000 MT on auction block three to four weeks ago is now going for under 100,000 MT to do to all the Galaxy Opals and the high overall rated Pink Diamonds dropping in my team. Now, there is two more quick things that I want to get to in this introduction of this video before we hop into the top 10 list. And the second to last thing I want to get to is that when I did do this list right here, guys, we're not really going in any particular order. The 10th player could be better than the first player the number nine player could be better than the third the third obviously could be better than the second we don't really go in any particular order in this video guys these are really just 10 of the best players that you guys can buy off the auction block for 100,000 mt the last thing that i want to get to in this introduction is that i just wanted to let you guys know that i did try my absolute best to mix up the positions in this video i try my best to put a variety of different positions a couple shooting guards a couple point guards a couple power forwards a couple small forwards a couple centers i didn't i didn't want to overload one position like the power forward or center position and put like eight of those versus two guards and no small forwards because i'm sure there a lot of you guys are there are, are out there who need different positions upgraded on their squad so this video right here guys is definitely the video for you guys and it's gonna help you guys out a lot because of the variety i put up, up positions in this top 10 list so now without further ado let's go on ahead and talk about these top 10 players starting off at number one is pink diamond john wall right now as you can see this pink diamond john wall is going for around a price range of 60 ish thousand mt and i do feel like that he is the second best pink diamond point guard in nba 2k20 my team behind that glitched pink diamond lebron james this John Wall card right here literally comes with the full package. There is not one flaw in this card as he is standing at 6'4", which is great. A great height for the point guard position. 2K gave this man 26 Hall of Fame badges and 27 gold badges. 26 Hall of Fame badges is more Hall of Fame badges than my Galaxy Bowl Tony Parker, in which, as you can see right here, is on the right. And a Hall of Fame badge that John Wall does come with is majority, majority defensive ones, which is great, and also finishing ones. A lot of the gold ones are the shooting ones. He's not really the best shooter, but he does have the gold shooting badges which is great he has the most important gold shooting badges which is the most important thing when it comes to the badge count on the card now taking a look at the attributes right here for john wall guys he's just simply incredible all around 98 driving layup 95 mid-range 93 three-pointer 98 driving dunk 95 steal 93 premier defense 99 speed 99 speed with ball which which puts him at the fastest point guard in nba 2k20 my team obviously tony parker has 99 speed which you guys can see and some of the other point guards have 99 speed which is why i said he's tied for being the fastest point guard in nba 2k20 my team 97 lateral quickness 98 stamina guys this john wall card can simply do it all and on top of all the great badges and attributes that 2k gave this man right here they also gave him probably the best animations that any point guard has in nba 2k20 my team they gave him insane dunk dunk animations and also the jump shot is super easy to green although the jump shot is a little bit slower than other point guards because you now i have hall of fame quid draw it is still very very easy to green if you're getting open with them guys you're going to be greening with them consistently moving along guys coming at number two on this list is pink diamond buddy healed this Pink Diamond Buddy Heal card right here, guys, is going for around a price range of 60-ish thousand MT, a very similar price range to what that Pink Diamond John Wall is going for. The main reason why this Pink Diamond Buddy Heal card right here made this list is because I feel like that he is just as good, arguably better, than Galaxy Opal Ray Allen. When we compare this Pink Diamond Buddy Heal card right here to this Galaxy Opal Ray Allen card, take a look at the batch count for them. 
Pink Diamond Buddy Heal has 20 Hall of Fame badges to Galaxy Opal Ray Allen's 20 Hall of Fame badges. Ray Allen does have more gold badges than Buddy Heal, but gold badges it doesn't really matter that much compared to Hall of Fame. What really sticks out, guys, is that Buddy Heal has more Hall of Fame badges than Ray Allen. If we take a look at the attributes right here, 42 cards right here, guys. Both have 96 driving layup, both have 97 mid range. Ray Allen has plus one three-pointer at 99 to Buddy Hill's 98. They both have the same driving dunk at a 90. They both have the exact same ball handle at 92. Buddy Hill has better pass accuracy at a 92. Ray Allen's defense is a little bit better. But all in all, guys, you can see that these cards right here are very, very similar. And the main difference between the two cards is that Buddy Hill costs around 60,000 MT, while this Galaxy Hill Ray Allen right here costs 600,000 MT to lock in. So, with that being said, sp spend 60,000 MT on Buddy Hill, who is just as good as... A card that's going for 600,000 MT in his Galaxy Bowl Ray Allen. Now, on top of all that, guys, Buddy Heal's green window is super big. He might have the easiest release to green in NBA 2K20, my team. When I did a gameplay on him, guys, I set like borderline a record for most green lights I've had in a gameplay. It was ridiculous how many shots I was greening with that Pink Diamond Buddy Heal card. Coming in now at number three on this list, we have ourselves our first forward in this video, and we have Diamond Lamar Odom. Diamond Lamar Odom right here, guys, is going for around a price range of 30-ish thousand MT. 25 to 30-ish thousand MT is what he's going for. And this card right here kind of got lost in the sauce with all of the brand new Pink Diamonds and Opals coming out. But this card right here, guys, is still really, really, really good for his price. When it comes to this Lamar Odom card right here, guys, he's standing at 6'10 at the small forward position. He also can't play power forward. And when it comes to the badge count, guys, 2K gave him 47 total badges. 40 gold badges and 7 Hall of Fames. When we dive into these 40 gold badges right here, guys, I'm obviously, I'm obviously not going to be naming off all of them. But you guys can see right here, and I'm going down to 40 golds. 2K pretty much gave him every single most important gold badge in the game. Gold Rain Center, Gold Quick Draw, Gold Green Machine, Gold Cleanse, and so on and so forth. This man right here has every single important badge in my team. When we take a look at the attributes for Lamar Odom right here, guys, you guys can also see that he is just simply an all-around walking bucket. He does come with an 86 ball handle. So essentially, this card right here can speed boost. And essentially, guys, this card right here is a 6'10 demigod because he can shoot the three ball from long range. He can dunk, and he can speed boost for 20, 30-ish thousand MT. He is definitely a card you guys should consider picking up and upgrading on your roster. On to now the fourth card right here on this list in this top 10 video. Coming at number four is Diamond Danny Manning. This Diamond Danny Manning card right here, guys, is the cheapest card in this video in this top 10 list. And as you guys can see right here, he's going for around a price range of 8 to 10,000 MT. This Diamond Danny Manning card right here, guys, is kind of like a clone of Diamond Lamar Odom. And Danny Manning right here, guys, can play both small forward and power forward like Lamar Odom can. And he's also standing at 6'10". When it comes to the badge count for him, guys, he also has 47 badges just like Lamar Odom. He does come with 22 Hall of Fame badges and 25 gold badges. We take a look at the attributes for Danny Manning, guys. Again, he's very similar to Lamar Odom. He has basically similar stats offensively to Lamar Odom. 86 ball handle, the defense is also on point guys, 88 speed, 82 speed with ball. All in all guys, they're pretty much the exact same card. Top of the badge and attribute similarity, both Danny Manning and Lamar Odom does have that cheesy base 11 jump shot. So I know what you guys are probably wondering, if they're pretty much the exact same card and Danny Manning has more Hall of Fame badges, why is Danny Manning going for like 8 to 10k while Lamar Odom is going for like 20, 25, ish thousand MT? And that is mainly because guys of the animations. Personally, I feel like that Lamar Odom has much better animations when it comes to dribbling and also when it comes to slashing inside. Danny Manning isn't the best slasher. You can't really slash inside like Lamar Odom can. So that is really the main difference between the two cards. But honestly, no matter which one you guys do get, you can't go wrong with getting either one. We are approaching the halfway point right here in this video as moving on now to number five. Coming at number five is Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook. This Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook card right here is going for around a price range of 70 to 80-ish thousand MT. And this card right here, guys, is one of the best all-around point guards in NBA 2K20, my team. There are no flaws in this Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook card. What sticks out the most to me about this Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook card right here is that 2K just simply made him half Russell Westbrook, half Stephen Curry. And I say that, guys, because when we take a look at the badges, 2K gave this man 24 Hall of Fame, 28 gold, 2 silvers. But they gave Russell Westbrook Hall of Fame shooting badges. Hall of Fame Rain Extender, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, and so on and so forth, guys. He also does come with gold shooting badges 
as well. We take a look at him. Gold quick draw and gold hot zone hunter. Gold hot start. So that, now that he has gold shooting badges and he also does come with a 91 three point shot. He essentially is like Stephen Curry when it comes to shooting and also Russell Westbrook when it comes to the slashing. 98 driving dunk. And as you guys saw when we took a look at the badges, they gave him so many insane finishing badges. 91 ball handle. Great defense. 90 speed. 94 speed with ball. 99 speed. He Again, he is tied for being the fastest point guard in NBA 2K20, my team. On top of all that, guys, what makes him over the top, I feel like, as a point guard and the main reason why he's on this list on top of all this is that he, is that he does have a 90 defense rebound. He rebounds like a center. We're now past halfway point in this video. As moving on now to the sixth card. Coming at number six is a center, and he is Diamond Bam Adebayo. To be honest, guys, I feel like I don't need to talk about this card right here that much, as he is right now, guys, going for around a price range of 60 to 70-ish thousand MT. I don't, need, I don't need to talk about this card that much, guys, because he is right now, I feel like, a top seven center in NBA 2K20, my team. And for him to be a top 10, excuse me, top seven center, not even top 10, I feel like he's a top set, seven center in my team to be going for this price range guys you guys need to scoop up this man asap when we compare this diamond bam out of bio to this opal david robinson you can make a case and say that bam out of bio is better than david robinson and bam out of bio does come with 25 hall of fame badges and 27 golds so david robinson 20 hall of fames and 23 golds and you guys, and you guys can see right here when we take a look at the badges for bam out of bio he does come with some really really good ones and on top of all this guys 2k gave this man gold quick draw and gold range extender that's what really puts him over the top as a big man because not a lot of big men i'm sure a lot of you guys know has both the combination of range extender and quick draw really the only difference between these two cards is that bam out of bio is six foot ten and david robinson is seven foot one if you guys do get bam out of bio i recommend that you guys do get a tall power forward and tall small forward to kind of balance out the height difference on your team if we take a look at the attributes right here for bam out of bio guys he is just simply offensively a walking bucket and what sticks out to me about the most about this card is that he does come with an 86 ball handle and that 86 ball handle guys is incredible because i'm sure a lot of you guys know when you use centers and you try to go to the rim with him and try and attack the rim and try and do something trying to play make you guys pick up the ball like if you were to five out with a robinson and try and attack the rim off the dribble you're gonna get bumped and you're gonna get stopped and you're gonna pick up your dribble with bam out of bio guys with his 86 ball handle there is no picking up the dribble he literally plays like a point guard at the center position he's in my opinion he's like a six foot ten draymond green because you cannot you cannot force him to pick up the ball like you do other centers which really makes this card right here over the top on top of all the badges and great attributes that this Bam Adebayo car right here does come with. I know I said that I wasn't going to talk about Bam Adebayo that much, guys, but honestly, I just simply love his car in NBA 2K20, my team. As we're now moving on right here, guys, to the seventh card in this video, coming at number seven is Pink Diamond Chris Webber. This Pink Diamond Chris Webber card right here, honestly, is like the exact same card as Bam Adebayo. Really, the only difference between Bam Adebayo and this Chris Webber card right here is the price. Chris Webber is like 20,000 MT more than Bam Adebayo. And also, the badges. When it comes to Chris Webber, guys, he does come with a ton of great badges. Don't get me wrong, 25 Hall of Fame and 23 Golds. But unfortunately, this Chris Webber card right here does not come with Gold Reigning Standard. Bam Adebayo does come with that Gold Reigning Standard. But other than that, like I said, both these cards are very similar when it comes to the badges and attributes. And now moving on to the attributes for this Chris Webber card right here, guys. 92 driving layup, 95 mid-range, 91 three point, 95 standing, 90 driving dunk. He also does come with an 86 ball handle at the center position. So, like I said with Bam Adebayo, he can't, doesn't pick up the dribble. Same thing with Chris Webber. He does not pick up the dribble if you guys want to five out and rim run with this Chris Webber card. And moving along right here, guys, the defense. He's also a great defender. 90 block, 83 steal, 82 perimeter D, and 93 interior defense. 96 rebounding across the board, 86 speed, 81 speed with ball, and 98 stamina and 82 lateral quickness. Wrap it all up for this Chris Webber card. And also, before I forget to mention, this Chris Webber card right here is 6 foot 10. Same exact height as Bam Adebayo. Honestly, you can't really go wrong with either one you guys do get. Personally, though, I do prefer Bam Adebayo over this CW card. Coming in now at number 8 in this video right here, we also have ourselves another forward, and he is Pink Diamond Rudy Gay. As I can see right here, this Pink Diamond Rudy Gay card is going for around a price range of 70-ish thousand MT. Every single year, I'm pretty sure you guys know whenever a Rudy Gay card drops in my team, 2K juices him up a ton when it comes to the animations. Last year back in NBA 2K19, my team, we had a Player of the Month, Galaxy Silver Rudy Gay, and that card right there, guys, at the end of the year was borderline a top 25-ish card in NBA 2K19, my team, mainly because of the animations. Every single year, 2K gives him a great jump shot and a dunking animations. He literally just, he's like kind of like a rim-running glitch. He runs to the paint with a Florida team, and you get a crazy contact slam due to his great animations same thing this year guys they made him even great even greater as well when it comes to the animations this year the jump shot is amazing and also when it comes to rim runs you can rim run a ton with this man and just simply run to the paint and get it done because that is how glitchy the animations are 
on his car in NBA 2K20, my team, along, like I said, with the other previous years of my team. And that is the main reason why I feel like this Pink Diamond Rudy Gay had to have a spot right here on this list because the badges and attributes are good, but the animations makes him great. As he is 6'8", 230 pounds, 25 total badges on a Hall of Fame category, 24 total gold badges, which puts the total badge count at 49. When you guys see right here, we're scrolling down. He does come with the most important badges in my team. As we're scrolling over right here, guys, to so the attributes. The attributes all around are really, really good. 95 driving layup, 95 mid, 93 pointer, 98 driving dunk, 89 ball handle, 90 steal, 90 perimeter defense. All around, guys, this man is just simply flawless. And I think his lowest attribute on his card right here, guys, is at a 79, which is his strength. Everything else, guys, I believe is above the attribute of a 79. Now, this card right here coming at number 9 is the second to last card in this video. And he is Pink Diamond Pistol Pete Maravich. Pete Maravich right now, as you can see, is going for around a price range of 60-ish thousand MT on the auction block. 2K made this Pink Diamond Pistol Pete Maravich card right here. Half point guard, half shooting guard, standing at 6'5", which is a great height for the guard position, especially the point guard position, because his primary position is a point guard. We take a look at the badges for this man, Pistol Pete Maravich. He comes with more Hall of Fame badges than Tony Parker. 2K gave this man 29 Hall of Fame badges. And as you can see, he does come with very important Hall of Fame badges. Hall of Fame ring, Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame diamond, Hall of Fame clamp, Hall of Fame green machine, and also 22 gold badges as well, which are really, really good. We take a look at the badges, excuse me now, the attributes for Pistol Pete Maravich, 2K gave him 98 driving layup, 95 three point, 95 mid range, 65 driving dunk. Although that is kind of low, guys, he does come with a really, really good driving dunk tendency at an 80 driving dunk tendency. So even though the driving dunk is kind of low, guys, trust me when I say this, he is 6'5", and because he's 6'5", combine that with the driving dunk tendency, he throws down a lot of slam dunks. Don't be discouraged by that 65 driving dunk attribute. The tendency and the height is more important when it comes to dunking than the attributes. And everything else right here about this card, when we take a look at the attributes, is really good, guys. Defensively, athleticism-wise, he's all around really, really good. But what sticks out to me about the most about this card right here, I've said it about other cards, and that is the animations. The animations for Maravich, guys, are incredible. They gave this man, I believe, Pro 2 dribble size up or like some type of dribble moves which is pro 2 which is the exact same as kevin durant which means for those of you guys who do know how to dribble glitch and do that you know in between the legs up the court this man pistol p maverick i believe does have that animation on top of that guys his green window is very similar to buddy heels and i mentioned earlier it is super big so when you shoot jump shots with this man maverick it is super easy to time and green coming in at number 10 guys this card right here probably has the best card art in this entire list and he is diamond paul pierce as you can see right here this diamond paul pierce is going for around a price range of 10 to 15 ish thousand mt and this paul pierce card right here guys is a very 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 similar card to pink diamond rudy gay personally i feel like rudy gay is better than this paul pierce but not by much for those of you guys who can't afford yourself this pink diamond rudy gay this diamond paul pierce card right here is a great alternative card rudy gay does have one inch over him and obviously better badges but not by much at all paul pierce does have 23 Hall of Fame badges to Rudy Gay's 25. There only is a two Hall of Fame badge difference between the two cards. They both come with 24 gold badges. If we take a look right here at the attributes for both of these cards, all around, guys, Rudy Gay is better offensively, but not by much. Paul Pierce does have a better three pointer by plus four, although Rudy Gay is much more athletic at a 98 driving dunk compared to Paul Pierce's 85 driving dunk. Moving along right here, guys, to his playmaking, 2K gave this man an 86 ball handle, and the defense is pretty good for Paul Pierce, 84 steal, 90 perimeter defense. All around, you guys can see, as I said, that Rudy Gay is a better card, but not by that much at all. This Paul Pierce, guys, is great. It's a really, really great card for his price at only 10 to 15-ish thousand MT. Now, one thing I do want to say about this Paul Pierce card right here, guys, is that the animations really aren't the best for Paul Pierce. He does come with a decent jump shot, but he cannot go rim run like Rudy Gay or some of the other athletic small forwards can in NBA 2K20 my team. So if you guys do pick up this Paul Pierce card, just know that his animations really aren't the best. But still, guys, 10 to 15,000 MT. This card is still a W regardless of how good the animations are. So yeah, guys, that right there now is pretty much going to do it for this video. In this video, I did tell you guys, in my opinion, the top 10 cards that you guys can buy for under 100,000 MT, NBA 2K20, my team. Now, to wrap up this video right here, I will repeat to you guys the 10 players who I named off and mentioned in this video who made this list. And those 10 players were Diamond Danny Manning, Pink Diamond Buddy Heald, Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook, Pink Diamond Chris Webber, Pink Diamond Pete Maravich, Pink Diamond Rudy Gay, Diamond Bam Adebayo, Diamond Paul Pierce, Pink Diamond John Wall and Diamond Lamar Odom. Now, before this video ends, I just want to let you guys let me know down below in the comment section 
which top 10 video you guys would like to see next on the channel. Right now, I am leaning towards the top 10 best value cards, in which I would be telling you guys the best cards that play the best for their price on the auction block. But if you guys want to see something else, always feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. My ears are always open to new video suggestions, especially when it comes to these top 10 videos. Now, if this video has helped you, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said, we are on this grind and road to 80,000 subscribers, and also dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of the support. And as usual, as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.